The Poems of Ossian, The Songs of Selma. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Poems of Ossian, purportedly by Ossian, actual author James Macpherson. The Songs of Selma. Argument. Address to the Evening Star. Apostrophe to Thingol and his times. Minona sings before the king the song of the unfortunate Kalma, and the bards exhibit other specimens of their poetical talents, according to the annual custom established by the monarchs of the ancient Caledonians. Star of descending night, fair is thy light in the west. Thou liftest thy unshorn head from thy cloud. Thy steps are stately on thy hill. What dost thou behold in the plain? The stormy winds are laid. The murmur of the torrent comes from afar. Roaring waves climb the distant rock. The flies of evening are on their feeble wings. The hum of their course is on the field. What dost thou behold, fair light? But thou dost smile and depart. The waves come with joy around thee. They bathe thy lovely hair. Farewell, thou silent beam. Let the light of Ossian's soul arise. And it does arise in its strength. I behold my departed friends. Their gathering is on Laura, as in the days of other years. Thingal comes like a watery column of mist. His heroes are around. And see the bards of song, gray-haired Olin. Stately Rhino, Alpin with the tuneful voice, the soft complaint of Minona. How are ye changed, my friends, since the day of Selma's feast, when we contended like gales of spring as they fly along the hill and bend by turns the feebly whistling grass? Minona came forth in her beauty with downcast look and tearful eye. Her hair flew softly on the blast that rushed unfrequent from the hill. The souls of the heroes were sad when she raised the tuneful voice. Often had they seen the grave of Salgar, the dark dwelling of wide-bosomed Kolma. Kolma left alone on the hill with all her voice of song. Salgar promised to come, but the night descended around. Hear the voice of Kolma, when she sat alone on the hill. Colma. It is night, I am alone, forlorn on the hill of storms. The wind is heard on the mountain, the torrent pours down the rock. No hut receives me from the rain, forlorn on the hill of winds. Rise, moon, from behind thy clouds. Stars of the night, arise. Lead me some light to the place where my love rests from the chase alone, his bow near him unstrung, his dogs panting around him. But here I must sit alone by the rock of the mossy stream. The stream and the wind roar aloud. I hear not the voice of my love. Why delays my Salgar? Why the chief of the hill his promise? Here is the rock, and here the tree. Here is the roaring stream. Thou didst promise with night to be here. Oh, whither is my Salgar gone? With thee I would fly from my father, with thee from my brother of pride. Our race have long been foes. We are not foes, O oh Salgar. Cease a little while, O oh wind. Stream, be thou silent a while. Let my voice be heard around. Let my wanderer hear me. Salgar, it is Kolma who calls. Here is the tree and the rock. Salgar, my love, I am here. Why delayest thou thy coming? Lo, the calm moon comes forth. The flood is bright in the vale. The rocks are gray on the steep. I see him not on the brow. His dogs come not before him with tidings of his near approach. Here I must sit alone. Who lie on the beach beside me? Are they my love and my brother? Speak to me, O oh my friends. 
to Kolma, they give no reply. Speak to me, I am alone. My soul is tormented with fears. Ah, they are dead. Their swords are red from the fight. Oh, my brother, my brother, why hast thou slain my Salgar? Why, O oh Salgar, hast thou slain my brother? Dear were ye both to me. What shall I say in your praise? Thou wert fair on the hill among thousands. He was terrible in fight. Speak to me, hear my voice, hear me, sons of my love. They are silent, silent forever. Cold, cold are their breasts of clay. Oh, from the rock and the hill, from the top of the windy steep, speak, ye ghosts of the dead, speak, I will not be afraid. Whither are ye gone to rest? In what cave of the hill shall I find the departed? No feeble voice is on the gale, no answer have drowned in the storm. I sit in my grief, I wait for morning in my tears. Rear the tomb, ye friends of the dead, close it not till Colma come. My life flies away like a dream, why should I stay behind? Here I shall rest with my friends by the stream of the sounding rock. When night comes on the hill, when the loud winds arise, my ghost shall stand in the blast and mourn the death of friends. The hunter shall hear from his booth. He shall fear but love my voice, for sweet shall my voice be for my friends. Pleasant were her friends to Colma. Such was thy song, Minona, softly blushing daughter of Torman. Our tears descended for Colma, and our souls were sad. Ullin came with his harp, he gave the song of Alpin. The voice of Alpin was pleasant, the soul of Raina was a beam of fire. But they had rested in the narrow house, their voices had ceased in Selma. Ullin had returned one day from the chase before the heroes fell. He heard their strife on the hill, their song was soft but sad. They mourned the fall of Morar, first of mortal men. His soul was like the soul of Thingal, his sword like the sword of Oscar. But he fell, and his father mourned. His sister's eyes were full of tears. Minona's eyes were full of tears, the sister of Carborn Morar. She retired from the song of Ulin like the moon in the west when she foresees the shower and hides her fair head in a cloud. I touched the harp with Ulin. The song of morning rose. Rhino the wind and the rain are past, and calm is the noon of day. The clouds are divided in heaven. Over the green hills flies the inconstant sun. Red through the stony vale comes down the stream of the hill. Sweet are thy murmurs, O stream. But more sweet is the voice I hear. It is the voice of Alpin, the son of song, mourning for the dead. Bent is his head of age, red his tearful eye. Alpin, the son of song, why alone on the silent hill? Why complainest thou as a blast in the wood, as a wave on the lonely shore? Alpin, my tears, O Rhino, are for the dead, my voice for those that have passed away. Tall thou art on the hill, fair among the sons of the vale, but thou shalt fall like mourner, the mourner shall sit on thy tomb. The hills shall know thee no more, thy bow shall lie in thy hole unstrung. Thou wert swift, O mourner, as a roe on the desert, terrible as a meteor of fire. Thy wrath was as the storm, thy sword in battle as lightning in the field. Thy voice was a stream after rain, like thunder on distant hills. Many fell by thy arm, they were consumed in the flames of thy wrath. 
but when thou didst return from war how peaceful was thy brow thy face was like the sun after rain like the moon and the silence of night calm as the breast of the lake when the loud wind is laid narrow is thy dwelling now dark the place of thine abode with three steps i compass thy grave o thou who wast so great before four stones with their heads of moss are the only memorial of thee a tree with scarce a leaf long grass which whistles in the wind mark to the hunter's eye the grave of the mighty morer morer thou art low indeed thou hast no mother to mourn thee no maid with her tears of love dead is she that brought thee forth fallen is the daughter of morglan who on his staff is this who is this whose head is white with age whose eyes are red with tears who quakes at every step is this thy father o morar the father of no son but thee he heard of thy fame and war he heard of foes dispersed he heard of morar's renown why did he not hear of his wound weep thou father of morar weep but thy son heareth thee not deep is the sleep of the dead low their pillow of dust no more shall he hear thy voice no more awake at thy call when shall it be morn in the grave to bid the slumber awake farewell thou bravest of men thou conqueror in the field but the field shall see thee no more nor the dark wood be lightened with the splendor of thy steel thou hast left no son the song shall preserve thy name future times shall hear of thee they shall hear of the fallen morar the grief of all arose but most the bursting sigh of armin he remembers the death of his son who fell in the days of his youth karmar was near the hero the chief of the echoing galmal why burst the sigh of armin he said is there a cause to mourn the song comes with its music to melt and to please the soul it is like soft mist that rising from a lake pours on the silent veil the green flowers are filled with dew but the sun returns in his strength and the mist is gone why art thou sad o armin chief of the sea surrounded gorma sad am i nor small is my cause of woe carmor thou hast lost no son thou hast lost no daughter of beauty Kolgar the valiant lives and anira fairest maid the boughs of thy house ascend o connor but armin is the last of his race dark is thy bed o daura deep thy sleep in the tomb when shalt thou awake with thy songs with all thy voice of music arise winds of autumn arise blow along the heath streams of the mountains roar roar tempests in the groves of my oaks walk through broken clouds o moon show thy pale face at intervals bring to my mind the night when all my children fell when arindel the mighty fell when daura the lovely failed daura my daughter thou wert fair fair as the moon and fura white as the driven snow sweet as the breathing gale arindel thy bow was strong thy spear was swift in the field thy look was like mist on the wave thy shield a red cloud in a storm armor renowned in war came and sought daura's love he was not long refused fair was the hope of their friends erath son of ogdal repined his brother had been slain by armor he came disguised like a son of the sea fair was the skiff on the wave white his locks of age calm his serious brow 
fairest of women he said lovely daughter of armin a rock not distant in the sea bears a tree on its side red shines the fruit afar there armor waits for daura i come to carry his love she went she called on armor not answered but the son of the rock armor my love my love why tormentest thou me with fear here son of arnard here it is daura who callest thee eris the traitor fled laughing to the land she lifted up her voice she called for her brother and her father arendel armin none to relieve your daura her voice came over the sea arendel my son descended from the hill rough in the spoils of the chase his arrows rattled by his side his bow was in his hand five dark gray dogs attended his steps he saw fierce Erith on the shore. He seized and bound him to an oak. Thick wine the thongs of the hide around his limbs. He loads the wind with his groans. Arendel ascends the deep in his boat to bring Dora to land. Armor came in his wrath and let fly the great feathered shaft. It sung, it sunk in thy heart, O Arendel, my son. For Erith the traitor thou diedst. The oar is stopped at once. He panted on the rock and expired. What is thy grief, O Daura, when round thy feet is poured thy brother's blood? The boat is broken in twain. Armor plunges into the sea to rescue his Daura or die. Sudden a blast from the hill came over the waves. He sunk and he rose no more. Alone on the sea-beat rock my daughter was heard to complain. Frequent and loud were her cries. What could her father do? All night I stood on the shore. I saw her by the faint beam of the moon. All night I heard her cries. Loud was the wind. The rain beat hard on the hill. Before morning appeared her voice was weak. It died away like the evening breeze among the grass of the rocks. Spent with grief she expired, and left thee, Armin, alone. Gone is my strength in war, fallen my pride among women. When the storms aloft arise, when the north lifts the wave on high, I sit by the sounding shore and look on the fatal rock. Often by the setting moon I see the ghosts of my children. Half viewless they walk in mournful conference together. Will none of you speak in pity? They do not regard their father. I am sad, O oh Karmer, nor small is my cause of woe. Such were the words of the bards in the days of song, when the king heard the music of harps, the tales of other times. The chiefs gathered from all their hills and heard the lovely sound, they praised the voice of Kona, the first among a thousand bards. But age is now on my tongue, my soul has failed. I hear at times the ghosts of bards and learn their pleasant song. But memory fails on my mind. I hear the call of years, they say as they pass along. Why does Ossian sing? Soon shall he lie in the narrow house, and no bard shall raise his fame. Roll on, ye dark brown years, ye bring no joy on your course. Let the tomb open to Ossian, for his strength has failed. The sons of song are gone to rest. My voice remains like a blast that roars lonely on a sea-surrounded rock after the winds are laid. The dark moss whistles there. The distant mariner sees the waving trees. End of the Songs of Selma